As of February 28, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 22,688 cases in country with 187 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 10.2 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 60% reduction from last week, with a 20% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 0 0.6. We have noted a total of 359 COVID-19 deaths. We have 13 positive COVID-19 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. Two cases are critically ill and one case is severely ill. Since the commencement of the fifth wave on December 16, 2021, 9,559 cases have been diagnosed with an average of 131 cases per day. Women account for 58% of the cases and 63 COVID-19 deaths have been recorded, 62% of which is male. The majority of the deaths are COVID-19 related due to other associated chronic health conditions. Tourists account for 4.6% of the cases diagnosed for the past seven days. Although the cases diagnosed are noted island-wide, the highest incidence of cases are occurring in the northern regions of the island. This past week, we continue to register low numbers of cases. The seven-day average approximation continues to indicate a steep downward trend in the epidemiological curve. We note reductions in most of the public health indicators. As we move towards living safely with COVID-19, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has integrated many aspects of the COVID-19 response into the general functions of the system. This will facilitate the strengthening of the other public health and primary care programs which have been reduced due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The isolation, quarantine and testing protocols have already been communicated. The changes to contact tracing, home monitoring, vaccination sites and respiratory clinic location changes will be shared this week. Most of the other services have been restored to normal operations. We appeal to all organizations, both public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all of the public health protocols. We continue working with the various sectors to reduce restrictive protocols without increasing health risks. We continue to remind you of the following important measures. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and avoid contact with others. Avoid large meetings and crowded activities and social gatherings. Ensure that protocols are maintained at all workplaces and sectors, on minibuses and commercial, the tourism sector, gyms, hardware stores, supermarkets and recreational activities. Ensure safe physical distancing for face-to-face -face meetings and activities. The use of the face masks when in public places. Ensure regular cleaning of surfaces and sanitation of all business establishments and environments. Ensure you remain in quarantine or isolation if you were a direct contact of a case or a member of your household is positive. Limit social activities at work. Encourage vaccination of employees. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca and the Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised vaccination sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will continue providing information as this becomes available.